Tom Lee Roberts, President of the Tobago Visual Arts Association and a member of the Board of the National Museum and Art Gallery. As an educator at Speyside High School, I developed a program called the Speyside High School Art Appreciation Program. And this program offers students the opportunity to be exposed to artisans within the region and also to be very familiar with the work. So from time to time, I would come, I would bring students at Ferry House Castle here in Tobago, and the students would be able to interact with Louis. And while being here, I indicated to her that I wanted, you know, her to come at Speyside High School to do some, some work with the children. She indicated to me that she is not at the best of health at that point in time, and she wouldn't be able to do it. However, she has a, a protege, which was Zoneski at the time, and he would be more than willing, right? He would be here in probably, I think she said two weeks, he would be here, and I didn't necessarily communicate, and uh, I got in contact with um, Zoneski eventually, and then I came here and I met him, and the rest is history. I've, since after that, we've been in close contact, in fact, Doneski has also been a part of the Tobago Visual Arts Association and he's there working with us and we're all working together to ensure that art has its rightful place in the Caribbean region. And so I'm very grateful for the opportunity. In fact, um, meeting with him also caused us to have the, the only foundry in Tobago. So, so persons who are interested in learning about the lost wax method can actually do it right here in Tobago. So that was a few years ago, uh, under the influence of Louis Kimi, I got the opportunity to meet Donetsky. Well, I was introduced to Donetsky by the Gallery 101. There was an exhibition, I first saw his work there, and I ordered one of his famous fat ladies. And I also commissioned a small piece as a, as a paperweight, a horse, because I felt that when I looked at his work, there, were, there was a lot of life in it, a lot of movement. There were some, some concepts that were so original that he could take an action and translate it into almost an abstract type of piece, but, but, but keeping the essence of what this artist was trying to express. And this is how I met Dunieski's work. So my name is Dunieski Laura. I originally coming from Cuba, from Santiago de Cuba. I just first uh, met uh, Miss Kimi in Santiago de Cuba in the Caribbean Festival. And she asked him for people who are doing bronze uh, work. And she just met me and we started working for a couple of years and then after when she got like very interested in the work we're doing, she invited me to come to Tobago and we start to work together in bronze sculpting and, and after a uh, wood carving and painting, uh, printing. I got start involved in the art very early. As I was maybe uh, 10 years old, I start to carve in bricks in the in the ceramic bricks for construction and with a nail and I start to just point it and see discover a little form in the, in the bricks and it was really interesting for me and after that I started to do it in wood and after that do it in clay modeling and stuff and it was so interesting for me and I kept the whole time doing art all my rest of the life until now. My, my father was a, a, a welder and my mother was a cigar maker. As I grew in a real, um, we can say, poor, poor family, um, as I say to my father or my mother, because I was in school for many years, and she say, oh, hey, mother, I want to just go in the arts. And my mother said, no, that's a waste of time. We need you to be a doctor or a maybe a, a architect of something who you can develop and get. And it was a kind of a little contradiction, but after we started doing involving the art, I was a, as I was a student, 
we learn and, uh, and start to join different works in, in Cuba. And it was real, ups, real good for my family. And my family start to recognize that art is, is an next job, like uh, you've been a doctor or a engineer or wherever you can, you know. So in the beginning, I was um, working in the, in the art academy. I was working in the art academy for 15 years in uh, the academy uh, in Santiago de Cuba. So I have been teaching many students and uh, I started drawing teaching drawing and, and then a ceramic with glaze and stuff. And then I started doing a sculpting and in the technique of um, bronze casting. I just travel everywhere in the world and do all kind of different work in Europe and all over the Caribbean, in Mexico, in Chile, all kind of different countries. What I see in Tobago is the people is so, how you can say, so um, so respectful. You walk up the road and everybody say good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This was so shock for me. We, we can live here in Tobago so free. Nobody interfere with you in your house, everything, you know, open. And so no violence. Tobago is, is a different place in the world because Everybody say hello, good morning, and so and so and so on. That is the first thing. Everywhere you go in Tobago, you have to wash your hands, even though before COVID and so. You know? And everybody is so clean and everything. That is the first thing in Tobago, the safety of Tobago. And that's why they say the Tobago green and serene and so and so. And the people also very nice. I don't have no bad experience in it. In almost nine years, I have in Tobago. As I reached to Tobago, I, I, I fall in love in Tobago. And first thing I, I saw in Tobago is you have a riches and different different wood and so. And I start to do some carving in cedar, mahogany, salmon, and teak and so. And it was, was real experience for me because the possibility of um, develop something not new but you can get any amount of wood and any size and so it was real nice for me nice experience and represent what we just see or what you have a, a inside to represent and so you you know it was real nice experience being an artist a true producer an original artist it's like perfume you see you can take scents from various flowers and you create an original. And this is what this artist is. He's our Picasso. He's the newest. He loves us. He's from Cuba and he interprets our life. And I'm honored and happy to know him. Doneski, I would want to agree that he is in fact a genius and very skilled in his craft. Now, the lost wax method, ancient artistic technique in terms of sculpture is a very difficult process and it's it's it takes a lot of time right nonetheless Doneski is able to use all the basic techniques throughout the process create true representation in his work right what that means simply is that he's able to produce a sculpture right which is actually a 99% replica of the person and to me that is phenomenal all right i've seen sculptures all over the world and some of them resemble the person or you may have a close resemblance but i, I would want to say doneski is very very accurate and uh, i would recommend him to do any type of lost wax sculpture throughout the region because i honestly believe that he has owned his craft and he is working quite well. I am also privileged to, you know, have the opportunity to work with him as well. Um, he has done some work at Speyside High School with the students, showing them how to do basic sculpture and so forth. And to me, that is that is really admirable because you, you see, a genius is one who is not afraid to share. And when I contacted Doneski, he didn't charge me anything, somebody of his ilk. He didn't charge me anything. He, he willingly 
he came to space at high school and he worked with his students and he it was for an entire week right he did that um for me it was one of the wonderful experience i never have before because i have a little um a experience like a you know a, all the students when the when the ring bell song everybody run away and leave you in the classroom and that happened that them students the ring bell just saw and nobody want to let go the the classroom. Everybody want to, the people want to go and get the food and come back to me to just to learn when I teach them. And it was a technique like the Amerindian did a long time ago. And so an artist, an artisan who is willing to share is definitely a genius and someone who is fearless and willing to really ensure that they establish and leave a legacy when it comes to the development of their work. I really have a different spirit in Trinidad and Tobago because I, I noticed like the people real appreciate what we're doing from, we can say from Cuba, but this is, we can forget Cuba because I live in here so many years and the experience in Trinidad and Tobago is unique and the people real appreciate what we start to doing from the beginning, from the very beginning. and. Um, for me, it's a nice experience to see how the people just apprehend the work from different uh, countries, even though we come from the same Caribbean, and they really enjoy my art and everybody, people interested in my art in Trinidad and Tobago. We're doing some lesson in, in Kimi Museum for free for people, people who are interested in, in, in Trinidad and Tobago to learn some techniques and so.